Hello everybody. So today we are going to discuss the concept of portfolio immunization in, in finance. So the aim of creating this channel is to simplify the complex concepts of finance so that it can be easily understood. So if you really like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Right. So here we begin. So our problem here is to find out how you can immunize your portfolio you understand what's a portfolio portfolio can contain any number of bonds right it can contain even even equity shares bonds debentures so many things so far are making our life simpler here because the aim is to understand finance easy simple way so what we are going to assume here is that we can create a portfolio out of two bonds only so these two bonds are the only you know investment opportunities available in the market bond a and bond b and these these bonds have got you know different characteristics so what are these characteristics we will just just look into them and and see so here you have bond a and bond b which mixing any proportion of these these two bonds we can create a portfolio so let us look at the the, the features of bond a bond a Maturity is one year, bond B maturity is three years. Bond A duration is one year, bond B duration is 2.78 years. Now, 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 don't get confused. Maturity is three years, duration is 2.78 years, maturity is one year, duration is one year. Just assume that duration for all practical purpose is a maturity for you now. How we arrive at a duration, what's the difference between duration and maturity, we will have a, sh a short video uploaded soon on duration. Uh, to give you a glimpse of it, it can be Macaulay's duration, it can be you know match, cash match duration, it can be modified duration, but duration is something which gives a realistic assessment of a bond's valuation right so so for the time being assume that your, your bond is going to mature in in these duration years right the feature another feature of the bond a is coupon at this rate coupon at this rate and most important you since you are creating a portfolio you have to pay for bonds a and bond b and how much you have to pay this is the market price so for bond a you have to pay 972.73 dollars and bond b you have to pay 950.25 YTM yield to maturity or the market discount rate is same 10% for both the bonds. So now you have got your your you know uh, shopping cart with you. You have got the uh, you know commodities available, bond A, bond B in the shelf with you. Imagine you are in a mall shopping for bonds. These two bonds are available for you. Which one? you will go for in how much quantity how much will you put in the shopping cart right now now this decision is is depending upon what is your aim in creating this you know portfolio so here the formal statement of the portfolio immunization problem is like this so the aim of creating portfolio here is to pay somebody after two years an amount of one million dollar imagine you have taken some loan which you have to pay repay after two years or imagine any other liabilities for example you may have to you know uh, pay for some 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 uh, uh, you know some other uh, uh, liabilities it, it can be education it can be housing it can be a small project one million dollar you have to pay after two years and your bonds that you are going to shop today should make a portfolio so that you don't fall short of this $1 million after two years. If you fall short of $1 million after two years, that means the, the realized value of, of these bonds, if you, if you are going to sell these two bonds, bonds A and bonds B in whichever proportion you have bought them after two years, you should not fetch less than a $1 million after two years. If you do that, you uh if, if you fetch less than a million dollar after two years you have not immunized your portfolio right so uh, understand it this way that you today you need to find how much to pick from the shelf right 
of bond A and bond B so that my portfolio is immunized to this level. Fine. Hope the problem statement is clear. Okay, now we move how we solve this particular problem. So the solution is super easy, just few steps, stay with me and focus on what we are doing here. So here, uh, our you know immunization duration DP is two years, fine. We have to find out how much of you know dollar worth of bond a and how much of dollar worth of bond b we should have today so that we can you know multiply that by duration d1 duration d2 and that should sum up to the immunized duration which is two years because two years is is the liability period after which i have to pay somebody one million dollar what is this wa the dollar worth weight of bond A, WB is dollar worth weight of bond B, right? Duration, it was given when we discussed the features of the two bonds, bond A and bond B. Bond one was having a duration of one year, bond two was having a duration of 2.78 years. So it's basically, you know, weighted average. The DP is the weighted average of, of these two and the weights is what we need to find in step one. So our life is super simple here. Why? Because we just have two bonds, A and B, right? So you can directly plug in one minus WA in place of WB because when you can make a, you know, a mixture out of any two things, you know, if, if one is 40%, other has to be 60%. If one is 70%, other has to be 30% because you, you have to have total sum as one. I, I, I hope that's pretty simple. When you solve this out, what you get is this. So, wow, we have cleared step one. So this, what is this? The, the proportion of, you know, uh, bond A should be 0 0.43. Proportion of bond B should be 0 0.86. This proportion is in terms of dollar value, right? So let us understand what is that dollar value. So let's go back to that problem. So what did that problem said that we have to pay somebody one million dollar, right? This much amount after two years, after two years. So you know the present value. So the, the future value divided by one plus discount rate, whole raised to the power, the duration or the two years, right? So today my portfolio, which is a mix of bond A and bond B, right? This should be worth dollar eight to six, four four right six point two eight then only i'll be able to pay one million dollar to somebody after two years so as on today our portfolio should be worth dollar eight to six four four six point two eight fine so so how do you find the uh the the sh share of bond a today bond a value today should be the present value that we just found multiplied by its weight. Simple, right? So you multiply this present value with weight A and you arrive at this figure, which is the, sh the, the dollar share of, you know, to, uh, of uh, bond A in my portfolio today, right? What about bond B? As, as simple as, uh, as, as we did in for bond A, the calculation for bond A. So here you have the same present value, right as you can see this is the same present value that we discussed last time the bond weight we, we found in the step one 0 0.86 so this bond should be having little more uh, you know uh, share of because its weight is higher so it should have a little more share of you know uh, value today uh, in our portfolio so uh, now we are done with step two in a step three Wow, you just have to find out because you are going to, you, you are standing in a shopping mall, you, the shelf is before you, the bond A, which is selling at uh, MRP of 972.73, bond B, which is selling at an MRP of 950.29. You have to find out how much, you know, to pick up from the shelf and put into your shopping cart. So it's pretty simple. You, you have already found out the total value you should have of bond A, multiply by the market price and you arrive at how many bonds of A you should shop for. Similarly, you know 
the total value you should have of bond B divided by the market price of bond B and then you arrive at you know the the number of bonds of of type B which you should shop today so that you are able to play, pay the you know pre-decided liability of of uh, of one million dollar after two years so hope is clear let me let me just repeat the you know steps again so we 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 were uh, trying to find out the you know the ratio or the proportion or the weightage of bond a and bond b for you know having to pay a liability of one million dollar after two years and we use this formula which is uh, WAD1 plus WBD2 is equal to DP for uh, uh, simplicity's sake we can assume the D1, D2 given here but we can always calculate here I'll upload a separate video for that and DP the immunized duration is given to us with this you can find out the 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 weights weights A and weight B right and and after doing that you find out what is the present value of you know your liability after two years and then multiply that by the weights and you get you know uh, the dollar value of of these bonds a and b you should have today simply divide in a st last step with the market price and lo and behold you are done you get the number of bonds you should have in your portfolio today so this friends was our portfolio immunization hope you liked the video please like subscribe and share bye